going on guys and welcome to another Gearheads Garage production. In today's upload, we made a couple friends of mine at the Uari Outpost, but not to go to the trails, um, but we're meeting them there because that's a good meeting spot. But we are actually going to be riding along with them with another group that um, is wheeling at a place by the name of Big Creek, which is actually a private trail system located, um, I think it's just north of Uwari or something of that sort. It's right near it, uh, but we go uh, trail riding with them. And afterwards, the XJ behind me, we get her all back together, and we actually get to hear run for the first time in... Um, I want to see a good five months. Not bad. Driver! Straight! A little passenger! Passenger! Good! All right, all right. Hey! Your transmission mount's hanging. Look up underneath you. Shit's freaking hanging. Right, You're gonna have to. Cause I wouldn't go another inch. 
And we lost the, uh, you see so the So haven't, haven't been on the trail an hour. And, um, so what do you want to do? Well, we need a jet. Sometimes things happen. Across the other side with it? Yeah. We're going to do the tunnel out of the loop. Right here. We'll go from here. Around. Around. Right here. Right So kind of what? Loop it. So. Pretty in. Right. Well, you guys so we're going to we'll we'll try to lift it up. Yeah, we'll we'll Mostly we want to just be able to hold it. Oh, you talking about that? I just want to hold it. Straighten back out. I guess you're... The hat she was still running, broken. Yeah. Hmm? That she was still broke. running. It wasn't broke. Oh, yeah. She's just disabled a little bit.
parallel that way and then snake around. Come on. It wants it so bad. That rock right there is catching on his front diff. If his passenger side front tire stays on that rock and his other tire stays on that rock, he'll go right over it. There you go. Dang, he, even he's having time. Send it. Turn driver just a little bit. Back up. All right, whoa.
All right, so guys, it is the next day. Tilly is back. Project Overland is back in the carport for the first time in God only knows how long. Its usual spot is over there. The WJ is over there. Um, and we are... We actually... The guy just left, um, but we actually had another guy over, and he put um, the cylinder head back on. Everything looks fresh, fine, sexy, all that good stuff. And I've got another friend of mine... Um, finesse in the exhaust manifold we're going to have to um, take this apart a little bit more to get it all on got the gaskets and stuff over there yep. and uh, well let's get to working on alright so guys we have gotten the intake and exhaust manifolds squared up we've got it all flush mounted to the dowel pins we've got all the bolts on the top and on the bottom torque to spec or rather what they call uh, dirty dirty specs because we're not using um, new studs or new bolts or anything we're going back with the original stuff so we do it dirty we don't do it exact granted it may be a pound or two off Eh, it'll be fine right but um, got all that done we got all of the uh, push rods and lifters in all that stuff torqued down and I've got um, my AC compressor good and done so now the only thing that's really left is the uh, thermostat housing I got to hook up my um, my plugs and my wires and my distributor cap Alright guys, so it is the next day. This has been a multiple day process, but we have the valve cover and gasket back on. We have everything else lined up. That, I know I went over that. Um, I got the uh, AC compressor mount back on. The power steering mount is back on. Everything is tight enough. Um... The plugs and wires are all back on. The uh, throttle linkage and everything is good. Uh, I sprayed out all the vacuum lines, as far as I can tell. Everything is good, so. All right, so guys, it's been about an hour or two later. We had to go by the local Wally World and get us a new battery because the old one wasn't worth a dang thing, So, uh, and the jump box pretty much laughed at us. So, uh, let's prime the fuel pump a little bit, and, well, let's see what happens. Maybe it helps to have it in park. Alright, so guys, she runs... She is alive. Well, she runs. We did take it around the block for a minute just to see how it handled, how it ran. Um, we have a few little kinks in the system that we have to work out before she's roadworthy, as I would say. But she does run. Um, the serpentine squeaks a little bit because there is a minor uh, leak in the thermostat house in which that's nothing a little bit of RTV won't fix but it's dripping right down onto the serpentine belt making it scream like a mother so um, we've got to do that um, there I need to go to the junkyard and pull a few parts for this because I either don't have them or I lost them probably lost them knowing me but um, Running, but as far as like roadworthy running, I want to see she's a good 95 to 90 percent, 98 percent there. Um, there are a few uh stuff, few things that I need to look over and tweak that I uh, have not done yet, but I will. But hey, after about five months of sitting over there where the WJ currently is now, because it's usually right here, um. 
I can say I've accomplished something. So, um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time, please, some, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Uh, definitely want to get this thing out wheeling after the new year or after Christmas or whatever. There's a few spots that I've been talking to a few friends about going to. We will see, you know, how that is at the stage that this thing's at. But, um, yeah. Till next time, we're out.